Mr. District Attorney, Champion of the People, Defender of Truth, Guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mr. District Attorney is brought to you by two famous Bristol Myers products, Ipana and the Sal Hepatica. Ipana for the smile of beauty. Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Ipana, Sal Hepatica. <laughs> This evening, our adventure begins in a closely guarded house in the district attorney's county. Here we find Fanny Devine, once a leading figure in the underworld, talking to Monk Garson, his only remaining follower. I'm true, Monk. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't stand it any longer. Ah, oh, look, Fanny, you're safe in this county. Relax and try to get some sleep. Sleep? I can't sleep. How can a man sleep with that monkey chattering all the time? Uh, quiet, no dice. Quiet, you're bothering the boss. A monkey give me the creeps. Why don't you throw him out the window? Now, wait a minute, Benny. I took my moniker from this little fella because he's all up. Hey, you've seen him pick up the dice and rattle him just like he knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I call him no dice. All the luck we got left. Honey, how he ate a monkey, he's a mama set. Well, it gets on my nerves. Oh, take it easy, Benny. You'll be all right. I told you, this DA, he don't let anybody come in this town that could hurt you. Yeah, he don't know half the guys that are after me. If this county's so safe, why'd I get that note from Bullets Kane? Well, I can't stop Bullets Kane from using the U.S. mail. Quiet, quiet, no dice, quiet. Hey, how about that doctor? Doesn't he do here now? Hey, he's right outside. Get him in here, get him in here. For sure, for sure. Uh, come in, Dr. McCord. Mr. Devine is ready for the treatment. Oh, thanks, Johnson. Well, Mr. Devine, how do you feel? Lousy, Doc. I can't get no rest. I keep seeing that prison. Well, what you need right now is a sedative. Now, just lie on this couch, Devine, and roll up your sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, Doc. I rub off your arm. Yeah, there. And, uh... Here goes the needle. Ouch! Now, that didn't hurt the vine. Yeah, yeah. You know, I appreciate a high-class croaker like you working on me, Doc. Well, uh, your case interests me. And then it's lucky we ran into you on a train coming back from Alka. Uh, that plate they had for Annie. And you, Garson. You were really the only one waiting for him at the gates there. Yes, sir. Yeah, just one guy, little monk here. It's like he says, Doc McCord. With my health and nerves the way they are, we're playing a nice party to find you've got your practice in the same town I'm heading for. Well, Devine, I can see you're suffering from a classic fear neurosis. Well, I got plenty to be afraid of. Now, I'm warning you. You've got to relax this tension. And I'll be back later to see if I can get you settled for a night's rest. That's imperative. You must sleep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh. I'll try well, uh, uh, Doc, if you're through, I'll take you out. Yes, I'm through for the time being. Hey. Now, wait a minute. What's this? Huh? Uh, this? Oh, it seems to be a piece of paper lying by the window. Yeah, yeah. But look what it says. Look, Doc. Look, I know that handwriting. Well, let me read it, boy. Rat divine, you're going out tonight. Say, this is Kane's Get handwriting. me out of here. Get me out of here. Lock the windows. Lock the door. Oh, wait a minute. Give me no. somebody to beat it. No, no. Hey, take it easy. Of course. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, do I understand this note here is a threat? This note is from Bullets Kane, Doc. A yeah. guy that don't like the force. Oh. Well, there's just one thing for you to do. Get to bed. Sure. Sure, that's fine. But before we do anything, we're going to call the district attorney. <laughs> Any of me seen now, nurse? Oh, yes, Mr. District Attorney. Doctor left no instructions about visitors at all. Hey, is that the law? 
The DA? Yes. We'll bring him in. All right, come on, Harrington. All right. So this is Vanny Devine, huh? Yes, the big shot. Well, Harrington, he doesn't look like much now, does he? No, I guess he was lucky to be alive. What's the matter, Vanny? Stomach ache? Uh, no, gents, it's his nerves. He's got it so bad he's had to have a doc in this here nurse. And who are you? I'm my a... pal, Monk Garson, the Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard about the monk. What, they tell me he would have been out on the big rock with you, Vanny? No, sir, I'm clean. I never touched no gun and no knife. Well, we won't argue about that. Now, Vanny, I've come out here to have a straight talk with you. And uh, nurse... Give me a glass of water, will you? All right, give him the water, nurse. Then you'd better leave us alone. Yes, sir. You are, Mr. Devine. Okay. Okay, blow. Yes. Now, look here, D.A. I... Hey, hey, what is this, a zoo? Uh, it's just my mom is that no I see. He wants to drink it aboard this water. Well, get him out of here, too. All right, boss. All right, don't get yourself nervous. Come on, no dice. Don't get it. Now, listen, D.A. you got to protect me. You got to. Well, why should I protect you? And from what? I got a note, D.A. Came from Bullets Kane. Uh-uh. He tells me I, I ain't gonna live another night. Mm, from Bullets Kane, huh? He ain't one of your fans, Vanny. You got that note right here? Was it mailed? There was two. One was mailed. One wasn't. Oh, then Kane's in town. I expected that when I heard you'd showed up. Now, wait a minute. You got to protect me. I'm clean with the law now. Well, with five years on the rock for income tax fraud? <laughs> I think you came clean at cut rates, Manny. Yeah, by right hand. Hey, that... Look, go easy. No, it isn't you I have to protect. It's the people of this county. That's why I'll see that you don't get killed. But you've got to play it my way. Well, what way is that? You'll stay right here in this house and not go out. There'll be no gun battles on the streets of this town with innocent people killed. Certainly. Sure. Stay right here. Huh? Yes, and I'm going to ship those bodyguards of yours that I met downstairs out of town. What? I don't like their looks. But, but you can't leave me alone. No, you won't be alone. Monk Garson can stay with you. Inspector Brophy and his men will guard the house. You stay right here and you'll be safe until we've rounded up bullets came. And then you'll both get out of town. Now, you'd better play ball with me, Vanny. I'll be back this evening to be sure you have. Mr. District Attorney. Uh, good evening, Doctor. Uh, McCord, uh, John McCord. Uh, my patient here told me you were looking after him. Well, I don't think you could call it that, Doc. <laughs> we didn't ask him to play in our backyard. Uh, how do you feel, Vanny? You got those cops downstairs? Yes, they're there. That's good. Uh, this excitement, it ain't good for my heart, is it, Doc? Well, let's not worry about your heart. Oh, nurse. Yes, sir. In case the patient can't sleep tonight, I'm leaving these capsules. Three of them. Yes, sir. Now, one of them ought to make him comfortable, but give him as many as he seems to need. Yes. Now, Devine, you relax. Yeah. The district attorney's here. You've got to realize you have nothing to worry about. Uh, that's what you say. No, 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 no. This attitude isn't helping you any. Well, uh, good evening, gentlemen. Um, good night, Dr. Good night. Good night. Now, nurse, I want you to see you. Well, Vanny, you're a lot more trouble than you're worth. Listen... You saw that note I got for Bullets came? He wasn't fooling. <laughs> You'll just see me through this. I'll get out of the country. Canada, Central America. I'll find it. Well, you'll certainly get out of this county, my friend. We'll locate Kane. We want to get rid of him, too, as I told you. And when we find him, you both go. But you ain't going to let him send me over. <laughs> that ain't legal to you. Yeah, it looks a lot different on the receiving end, don't it, Fanny? I'm staying here myself tonight. You? Does that make you feel any better? Why, yeah, sure. Sure, that's fine. That's, that's mighty fine. Yes, I've even brought my secretary so I can keep up with my work while I'm staying here. Yeah, don't forget, brother, it's not because you rate it. Well, whatever it is, I'm mighty grateful. That's all right. Save the thanks. Hey! Who? Oh. Go ahead, Divine. Answer. Hello? Hello, Vanny. Who's that? This is Bullets Kane. Huh? I just wanted you to understand. I know you got cops there. I know you're beef to the DA. You're still going over tonight. Hey, wait. Wait. It's all right. Hey, hey. DA. Hey, what's Call my cops. Call those cops. What is Get it? him in here. That... 
That was Cain. Uh, this time on the cellar, I'll get him in here. You'll never you'll you'll be divine. Uh, you're not going to be killed uh, by bullets, Cain. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was good, Kane, but not that good. Here was the D.A. himself giving me a polite hello, and that dumb cop of his ready to stick out his tongue and ask for a pill. Oh, <laughs> it was rich. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> Looks like this new idea of mine would come out all right. Ah, uh, sure it will. You know, I never worked a heavy grip like this before. Yeah, but don't you worry. People have been falling for this dignified front of mine for years. Why, Vanny and Monk Garson on the train were the easiest marks I ever trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> a wise guy always fought for a con man like you, Johnny. Ah, uh, sure, sure. <laughs> That's why I planted you on that train. Yeah, it sure worked. And when I dropped that note in Vanny's room this afternoon, I wish you could have heard him howl. <laughs> you couldn't calm him down, huh? Oh, not even with my professional skill. John the doctor. <laughs> hey, you really know anything about it? Oh, I had a few years at medical school. Yeah. Yeah, but let's forget that. Oh. Now, I've given Vanny a couple of harmless hypos to dress the act. And I've already dug two big trees out of him. You're going to make out all right. But he's going tonight. Yeah. I got a nurse there with him. I got the nurse from an agency, and she's on the level. But the sleeping capsules, well, they ain't on the level. Will they hurt? As soon as he swallows one, it'll tear him to pieces. Not too quick. Uh, be a matter of minutes. Good. Well, let's have a look at my watch, Miss Lim. It's eleven thirty. I don't want to keep you any longer. Oh, that's all right. Oh, no, no, you better get home now. The rest of this can wait until morning when we're back in the office. But are you going to stay here all night? Yes. Yeah. Harrington and I broke in the police. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, quite a turnout for a bum like Vanny Devine, ain't it, Miss Muller? <laughs> he certainly caused plenty of excitement. Well, a man like Vanny Devine represents the end of an era. Just a nuisance now. Out of date. I won't feel easy till he's out of this county, too. Yeah, me neither. Well, good night, you two. Good night. Don't sit up too late now. No, no, we won't. Hey, by the way, Harrington. <laughs> yeah. Better go down and see the Oh. Oh, hello, oh, Miss Sawyer. Are uh, you still up? Yes, I'll be on duty all night. Oh, gosh, it's nerve-wracking, this waiting, isn't it? What's the matter? Are you tired out? Uh-huh. Honestly, I don't see how I'll get to sleep when I get home. Well, I'll tell you what, Miss Miller. Doctor left some capsules for the patient if he got restless and couldn't sleep. Here they are. Now, I won't need all three. You take this one. Oh, thanks. Take it a little water the minute you get home. You'll sleep all right. <laughs> Just a moment, your district attorney will continue with this case. And now, back to Mr. District Attorney. back and take it easy. I ain't slept a wink. Yeah, I know. Listen, Monk. It's like I can see him in the corner there, looking at me. Regan Kane, Alfred Aldi, the kid from Kansas City, all of them. Our dead guys won't hurt you, Fanny. Light back now, huh? Get that weakened monkey away from me, will you? Quiet, no dice. Quiet. You can't think with them jumping around. Now, I'm the chair, no dice. Now, be a good boy now. Get over Let there. me straighten your pillow for you. Yeah. There. Thanks. Thanks. You really ought to get some rest now. Rest? That's a funny one. Uh, can't you give him a pill or something, nurse? Yes, there's a sleeping capsule doctor left for him. This red one right here. Oh, yeah. Give me that. It might make me feel better at that. Just pour you a little water. Ah, uh, that's good, Fanny. Swallow a little pill and then lay back on the weeping willow and grab yourself some shut-eye. Mm-hmm. There you are. Good 
Just put it on your tongue and swallow it with the water. Hey, wait a minute. Will this thing put me clear under? You'll go right down to sleep. And I don't want it. Why? Well, you don't. Now, Benny, be sensible. You I would don't just... want it, I tell you. I can't pass out now. Chain might come for me while I was asleep. Put that D.A. in Harrington and the cops are downstairs. Yes, Nobody. I know what I'm doing. I've got to stay awake. I ain't going to go in my sleep. I've seen him do that. Now, Mr. Devine, Get I... away from me with that sleep pill. I've seen him lying down and dreaming. Somebody up with a gun. It's a big sleep. Oh, no. No, no, not for mine. Mm-mm. Well, all right, Fanny, you're all right. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. brace up, Chappie. You're among friends here. o'clock in the morning, Chief. Yes, I know. Uh, what's happened? Hey, what's that? What's this happened? Oh, Monk Garson, and Benny. Did you know anything right. about this? Right, what's the matter, Monk? Oh, look. Oh. My little mama said no dice. Huh? Uh, hey, he's yeah. dead. Oh, what happened to her? Something bad, Chief. Look, look how he's stretched well, out. Who'd want to kill a little fella, huh? Who'd do a thing like that? What's it going to hurt in a oh, poor Benny, little thing? Yes, yeah, maybe it is. Yes, sir? Yes, take a look. What do you think? Oh, well, what happened to him? What would do like that to him? Wait a minute. Oh, this is awful. Well, I say it is. No, you well, don't understand. Well, what's wrong? What? Well, I saw this animal drinking the water I poured out for Mr. Devine. Yes? Yeah? yeah, there were two sleeping capsules. Now there's only one. And Mr. Devine says he didn't take any while I was out of the room. You think no dice got one? Well, he must have. They were bright red, just the thing that would attract him. What kind of sleeping powders were these? They must have been made up by mistake with yeah. the wrong ingredients. Well, that's a nice thing. No, you still don't understand. Huh? There were three capsules. What? I gave one to the district attorney's secretary, Miss Miller. What? She took it home with her an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Is our door, Chief. Yes, yes, listen, I know. Listen, the radio's on. Yes. I'll break this door down. Oh, no. Try a pass to you first. Yes. Maybe quicker. Right. All right. Come on, come on. There she is, Chief. Yes. Stretch out in an armchair with the radio grinding. Turn it off. Chief, look at this kid. Yes. She's out like a light. Miss Miller. Chief! Chief, this cat! Miller, Miss Miller! Oh, hello. Oh, please, please, Miss Miller, answer me. Did you take that capsule? What on earth? What cap? Uh, the one you got from Divine's nurse. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. No. What? Well, it turned out I didn't need anything to make me sleep. Did you oh. see? Oh. I turned on that night owl radio program and dozed right off in this armchair listening to it. Oh. 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 Say, what's gotten into you? What? Do you still have that capsule? Well, yes. What's wrong? That sleeping medicine is deadly poison. Intended to kill Vanny Devine. What? No, wait a minute. Don't faint. No, no, I won't faint. But why did that nurse give it to me for? She didn't but... know, of course. Oh, now, take it easy, yeah, Miss Miller. Yeah. Now, Harrington, yeah. back to Vanny Devine. They'll try to get him some other way. Uh, come in here, Carson. Uh, sit down, right by the bed here. All right. You heard about the uh, low dice, didn't you? Yeah. That's what I want to talk about. Well, I don't. Now, look here. That monkey got a hold of some stuff that was meant for me. That's right. And if it hadn't been for him, I'd you'd... have turned up my toes the same way. Well, ain't you got anything to say? I got plenty to say. All to you, you double-crosser. What is this? I don't make you. You get me, all right. Who planted that poison? Well, I don't Not know. Not the nurse. i never seen her before. Yeah, but... Not Benny... the doc. Where would his practice be if he handed out a dose like that? Uh, something's got into you, Benny. Relax, relax. Not with you around. You were the guy that planted that stuff to kill me. You. The one guy I thought I could trust. But you can trust me, Benny. I never tried to kill you. You got me wrong. What? Now, wait. 
Who hired you to shove that poison into my medicine? It was Kane, wasn't it? You got no call to lay me out like this. Kane couldn't hire me to hurt you, Vanny. I don't believe you. They're a crook, and in the long run, a crook will turn on you. Oh, that's great. You're the one to talk, ain't you? Never mind about me. I can take care of myself yeah. so far as you're concerned. Then you better start doing it. After a deal like this, nobody blame me if I did go to work for Kane. Oh. So it's out in the open now. Yeah, you're bound to be wrong about me. Nothing else will do. Yeah, that's gratitude. So long, big shot. Now, wait a minute. Huh? What now? Don't you want to shake before you go? What for? Well, it's just from now on, i got to go at single duke. For myself. Might as well make a clean break here. We're going to split. Let's split even. Run over and shake hands. There. Hey! Let go of my hands! Good morning, you chitter. What have you got there? Benny, be careful! Tonight! Benny! I'm under my pillow! Benny, go! Well, that's fixed you. I'm not going to get out of here. Kane will be waiting to hear from this bum. Hello, Vanny. Kane. Come on in, Doc. Sure. Doc. Doc, this guy with you. This guy here is Bullock Kane. Sure he is. Yeah, but what's he doing here? How'd he get in here? Tell him, Doc. Yeah, the cops downstairs think he's my colleague. And I told you nurse to go. Now, listen. Listen, fellas. I'll be reasonable. I'll fix you, right? Thanks. Hey, look here. What? This little monk got him. Huh? Somebody ruined him with a knife. Oh. That gives me a good idea. You shouldn't have sent him here, Bullock. Me? I didn't have anything to do with Garson. He was your boy. And a lot of good it did him. This was a dumb play, Vanny. You killed the one guy in the world that was loyal to you. I thought he was your boy. Yeah. Doc, give me that pillow. Yeah. Here you are. There's two of us to one. Hey, no, 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 no. Hold it down on the bed. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> That's good, Johnny. Keep him from yelling. Yeah, I got you. Now, now listen, you. Vanny. I see you got a knife there. Now, you got your choice. The doc here will operate on you, or you can drink one of them capsules he made up. Which will it be? Take the pillow off. Yeah, 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 right. I'll take the capsule. All right. Give him room. Now, Vanny, we're going to let you drink this stuff and take you out nice and easy. But one holler and you get carved, understand? Yeah. Pour the water, Johnny. Yeah, right. Uh, drink it, Granny. Give me it. Here it is. He <laughs> threw the water in my face. Grab him. Get back on the bed, Granny. All right. You wouldn't be nice. Right. So we won't be nice either. Give me that knife. And hold his arm, Johnny. Stop. Stop. Hey, what's going on here? Put that knife hey, down. Uh, uh, listen, I'm not there. Hey, so hurt me or do I have to shoot you? Chief, yeah. come in there quick. Uh, uh, I see. Back against the wall, both you men. Divine, stay where you are. Brophy, send for a squad car. We're taking these three to headquarters. All characters in tonight's dramatization are fictitious, and any resemblance to names of living persons or actual places is purely coincidental. Our stars were Jay Justin in the title role, Len Doyle as Harrington, and Vicki Bola as Miss Miller, with music by Charles Paul. The program was produced and directed by Edward A. Byron and written by Robert J. Shaw. Mr. District Attorney was originated by Phillips H. Lord. And remember... Sal Hepatica for the smile of health, Vitalis for well-groomed hair. Sal Hepatica, Vitalis. Fred Utell speaking for Bristol Myers, who invites you to tune in again next week for Mr. District Attorney. (laughs) 